All right, so hopefully this shows up good for you on camera. Uh, I actually had my tripod and everything sitting there next to my camera, and well, I forgot it. I tried to pack light today. I got my camera gear and my haversack, and I forgot my tripod, so I got it sitting up on a log right now. But as you can see here, I got the Haven Woodsman haversack in dark earth or brown, whatever you want to call it. But as you can see here, just out for a little day hike here in this hot, hot July day in the Midwest. But we'll just go over some of the stuff here. Um, Malcolm um, from the Hidden Woodsman makes these all by hand in the United States. And he does an excellent, excellent job. And when I say he does quality, he does quality. Pretty much everything is all double stitched, good material. I think it's a 1000D and then 500D on the inside. Um, really good buckles, good lashing. Uh, one thing I do really like that I think I saw in some other videos on the older model um, that it did not have this grab handle. Mine obviously does and I love it. So if you're using this as some sort of EDC bag, it really works great. You can just grab it and go. <clears throat> um, it has just a single strap all the way around for you to carry it. Um, on the previous video, I really had this thing loaded out and I lost a bunch of that uh, footage. So this might be a little different video, but here we got the buckles for the main flap. Go ahead and undo those. Right here you do have a hook and loop field for some morale patches. I just have this uh, awesome on your Huckleberry patch there. Um, on the main compartment on the inside, it's all held together by these double straps. Let me get you in a little closer and you can take a look at this, uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so here, like I said, with the stitching and just overall quality material here, I'll skip to the side real quick. I used to have a pouch on here, um, but decent. Um, it's Molly compatible, obviously, on both sides, which is really nice. I just got a small little s beaner there, but you can clip on different packs. Um, really works out great to accessorize or add a canteen or anything like that. But in the main compartment here, it's all held together. Back you up here a little bit. So it's all held together. It's got these two flaps, which I really do like with real good Velcro. And then that exposes the inside. Normally I have a canteen here, which is actually right here because I was Gotta hydrate. It is hot. So normally my canteen fits right in there to really bulk it up. I got some other stuff in there because I'm gonna have some dinner. So good spot for water jug or a canteen. Then inside here I have my small little cook kit. I just keep this with a little ditty bag. I got a lot of different cook kits, good ones, titanium ones, bigger ones, smaller ones, and the one I always turn to is this little guy. I might do a full on review, you might not recognize it, and you might, but this one has got my hardest use, and if you can see that, this is one of those Walmart Stanley ones, and I've had this for maybe three years, and I tell you what, stainless steel, not too big, perfect little solo pot and then I also have my little titanium I don't know utensil kit keep going on in here as you can see on the inside he does it in blaze orange and I think this is the 500d Cordura or nylon but it's a nice little touch keep going inside here kind of Mary Poppins it I have a small tarp at the bottom here I got some accessories I got my anchor uh, backup battery some extra cables and that's down inside the main compartment there and then also back here there's another little slit and in there I keep this small little pouch I might have to go through do another video on everything in here but in here is kind of you know some tissue birch bark fat wood signal mirror water filter fire steel so on and so forth. A little survival kit, what have you. I also have a backup big lighter and a small, small little first aid in there. 
mainly for boo-boos and stuff, and I think there is a uh, SWATS uh, tourniquet in there. In this front pouch, so away from the inside now on the front, you can see that there is a zipper, but right behind it, there is another flap with another pocket. And in here, it's kind of my tool chest. I have a fixed blade, Baco Laplander, and the uh, A1 Tactical flashlight. That's pretty much in there. We'll get to the front. And to be honest, I'm just out for a little day hike, so I don't have a whole lot in here. I have a koozie with some bug spray, which I'm definitely going to need today because it is... There's a lot of bugs out today. I have some bank line for cordage, a little bit of paracord, one of these little figure nines, and a backup little vaporizer thing because I'm trying to quit smoking. So that's that. Put some of this stuff back as I go. And that brings us to the back of it. In the last video I did, I had the uh, Wetterlings hatchet, but this is a sweet little spot. Let me, oh, and then today on the back, I have the ultimate Baldrick rig here. I'll go through that in a different video, so stay tuned for that. But on the back, which is a sweet little addition, let me unclip this, is a sleeve that goes all the way through with really good stitching, really well done. See that? That ain't going anywhere. But that's actually a sleeve, so you can fit, you know, a small axe or a hatchet in there. Awesome, awesome touch. I walked all the way out here without my tripod. I might have to go back and get it to finish these videos because this has been a pain in my rear end. So, we'll see. All right, so it was probably a short but sweet video. The Hidden Woodsman Haversack by Malcolm. Awesome, awesome, awesome piece of kit. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. The quality is there, and like I said before, some people might bash on it and say it's kind of a man purse, but like I said, it's the coolest man purse I could think of. It's a great EDC bag with that grab handle. Majority of the time, that's how I have it. I just throw it in my truck, leave some certain pieces of gear in there, and it's always there. But it also works great like this, you know, I come out by myself, just out for a day hike, maybe have some dinner out in the woods. And this is pretty much all I need besides my camera gear. I can fit everything I need in this little guy here. Um, you know, if I was doing maybe a lightweight one-nighter, this would be, you know, I'd have my hammock, maybe a bigger tarp in there. Wouldn't need any sort of sleeping bag in this kind of weather. It is hot, and I mean it is hot. But Malcolm, hopefully you see this. You did a great job. These things are awesome. I'm definitely going to be uh, getting another, you know, another piece of gear from them. Like to get one of the day rucks, but I do like the bigger size. Um, you know, maybe like a 20 liter or something like that. But just from the looks of it, they look really awesome. So, if this is something you like, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, starting to do a lot more videos like this, so stay tuned for the next one. And once again, thank you for watching. so fucking hot. It's way hot.